All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to this video. Um, I'm testing out like a new small camera that I got recently. Um, so I'm hoping everything sounds good. Uh, the video looks all right, so I think everything should be fine. But as you can see from the title of this video, um, I'm just gonna go over a jacket that I got recently. If you guys have been watching clothing videos for a few years now on YouTube, maybe even almost 10 years ago, you'll know about uh, not necessarily this brand, but the person who's behind this brand. I think I've, if you've been watching clothing videos on YouTube for know, the past few years, you know Jacob Keller, and uh, I think he his uh, old YouTube was like Always Fresh Apparel, and then he would do like the Karma Loop videos and stuff like that. I used to watch those videos back when I was in like, um, I want to say like end of middle school or like early high school or something like that, which was already like eight or nine years ago for me now. But yeah, anyways, I saw this jacket, or I've been following his brand, Bare Knuckles, for on a little while now, and I would always like see the things that they drop. But then they posted this jacket a few weeks ago, like kind of a teaser photo. And yeah, that was like the first piece where I was like, okay, I want to check that one out. Uh, I just like Varsity Jacks, and I like the color on this one. Um, I think they'd released a black one before, but I just like this gold one. So that's what I'm going to go over today. Uh, I'll go over the jacket. It's not like an unboxing or anything. I already took it out of the packaging a few days ago. It's just kind of been sitting in my closet until I felt like I had the energy to make a video. But um, yeah, let me just get right into it. All right, so I have the jacket right here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit it all into the frame from this angle, but I'll give you some better angles of it later. And yeah, it's just this, I think they call it true gold color. It's just a wool varsity jacket. Has some nice seams here. Um, on both sides but it's a pretty mellow design like it's a really nice color and the quality of it feels pretty good i think um on the details on the tag so this is like all wool on the outside and then this leather lining uh is on the outside of the pocket and then just has some little piping i guess is what you call it all around the collar i ended up doing a medium in this jacket um i could have done a large if i wanted to layer something underneath it but i wanted more of like a slimmer fit um so that's why i went with the medium i'm um like six foot three and like 180 pounds and i'll throw this on later so you can see how it fits when i'm wearing it but um yeah i'm probably not gonna be layering this jacket maybe like a sweater underneath uh but I can't wear like a hoodie or anything, it's not gonna fit. But even with the medium and kind of like a slimmer fit for me, there's still space like in my chest. It's not like digging into my armpits or anything like that. I'm not sure how many sizes they offer, if it's until XL or double X or something like that. Um, but I feel like it's just up until XL. But um, yeah, I could have done a large if I wanted to layer it, but I wasn't planning on layering it. It's so hot where I live anyway, so once it gets colder, I'll pretty much be able to wear just this jacket and I'll be fine. In terms of detailing, um, I kind of went over it already. All the details, you could see everything. Um, it's it's really nice, just like basic jacket with like little hints, uh, little hits all over. The biggest thing for me for this varsity was just the color. I just like that gold color. This is pretty easy to rock. Um, but at the same time, it's not like too flashy or anything like that. Yeah, really the only con I have um, in terms of the jacket is that the lining on the inside of the jacket is like a nylon lining and uh, I would have hoped to see a different material, something a little bit softer, something like that. Um, just kind of feels like those nylon bags that you get at the supermarket, like a reusable bag. Um, yeah, but other than that, that's like really, really the only thing that I have to say. It's like a con, I guess, for the jacket. I like how it looks, I like how it fits, and I like the color, and um, I'm sure those are like the main things that go into my thought process when getting something. But yeah, let me throw it on, and then you guys can see how the medium fits on me, and um, how I'd wear it. All right, I'm just gonna go over what I'm wearing right now. So, on feet, I just have some Toga Gorilla's loafers that I got you know, like three years ago that I've been wearing every once in a while. Then I got these Indigo Ferra straight like jeans that I shot in like my last video, I think. And then just a vintage tee that I'm wearing with this jacket that I'm going over. And uh, yeah, so this is a medium. I could have gone large if I wanted to throw something underneath it, but it doesn't get cold enough here for me to actually layer this. So I did a medium and it fits pretty perfect, I'd say. It's not like digging into my armpits or anything. And I have a lot of room to move and it's 
kind of cropped still. All right, and then this is how it would look if I buttoned it up. Honestly, I might even wear it with the collar out, if that makes sense. Kind of look okay like this too. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, this is pretty much the basic fit that I would rock with this. Some black pants. Um, you might be able to do like a dark brown with this color, but uh, I'll go ahead and stick to black and then throw on some high top shoes or something like that. Keep it pretty